Welcome to Roll back again with another reading. This time it is a general reading of the What I Am Feeling Energy message for the collective for May 20th to the 26th of 2024. Again, that's May 20th to the 26th of 2024. So this week, uh, we are going to be experiencing some major shifts, okay? So for those of you who are unaware, the energy has been really strong within this past week coming into the Gemini energy. So the sun is going to be moving into Gemini on Monday. It's going to be setting the tone for a lively vivacious week. And also during this week, we're going to have a full moon in Capricorn. That's also going to help us to release some things and move forward on our respective journeys, okay? Also, too, during this week, we're going to have Venus and Jupiter entering into Gemini as well. So that's going to bring a lot of good romantic energy, a lot of beneficial energy for the collective overall. Okay, so it's going to be releasing negativity, embracing positivity, glamorous romantic energy coming in that will benefit not only yourself, but those surrounding you. Okay, so this week is going to be jam-packed full of astrological influences that could help us all collectively shake off tired, stagnant energy shake off stagnant routines and align with the cosmos this energy this week is going to help us to remove emotional baggage or obligations and move forward basically okay so if you have been surrounded by people who are vultures and who take 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 now as this energy shifts you're going to be aligning with people who actually give to you as well as you give to them it's going to be a basically a balanced energy coming in with this gemini energy okay so uh our weekend outlook on saturday is going to be a powerful day for those of you guys who are into seeking the one your new romantic partner or spicing up a romance that you're already in or a relationship that you're already in saturday is a good day for that uh, it will be a good day to meet someone who is like on the same page with you Sunday will be a great day to tackling chores or getting some rest for those of y'all who've had a long week okay so um, to have a good week ahead free yourself from any chains or obligations that you don't feel like you need to do okay um, that varies from person to person and always you use your own intuition and judgment and discernment to figure that out okay um there's nothing wrong with seeking out fun but you also have to do what you have to do as well okay i know that seems a bit contradictory but like i say figure it out for yourself okay use your own discernment the top astrological event of the week will be on saturday when jupiter enters into gemini and the upcoming 12 months are going to be all about increasing our sphere of influence through communication, social media, and all other forms of communication or reaching out, whether that be verbally, um, written form, or whatever. The next 12 months are going to be huge for someone who wants to make uh, their influence or make a mark through media, social media, uh, traditional media, uh, spoken word, written form you going to be popping with this Gemini energy, okay? So, yeah. You're going to be attracting people that are going to help you to align on your particular path. People who are going to help put a spring in your step instead of dragging you down, okay? So, let's get into the Astro cards. We'll do the Tarot and then we'll get into the Oracle card, okay? All right. So, as a split the deck, we have Virgo and Cancer energy, okay? And Virgo is ruled by mercury just like gemini is so that energy is going to impact mainly uh virgos and cancers okay if you have that as your sun or moon sign or wherever you have virgo and cancer in your chart okay as well as gemini okay so let's see divine holy spirit what additional energies will the collective be working with for the week of may 20th to the 26th So we have here Pisces, okay, 
imaginative, compassionate, healing, empathetic, mystical, adoring, magical, allowing, dreamy, ephemeral, enigmatic, spiritual, emotional, escapist, impractical, oceanic, self-pitying, and illogical. When I think of that Piscean energy, whether it be water energy just in general, I think of dreams. So pay attention to your dreams. For some of y'all, y'all need to keep a dream journal. Uh, if you're like me, your dreams have been intense this past week, week and a half. Well, mainly after that uh, eclipse. <laughs> so let's see here. Additional energies for the collector for the week of May 20th to the 26th. Eighth house. Okay. We have investments, intensity, contracts, S, SEX, erotic capital, secrets, mysteries, obsessions, inheritance, kundalini energy, stalking, and the underworld. Okay. Interesting. All right. Additional energies at the collective. Okay. See, this one popped out. Sagittarius, I'm going to put this one back, but let's see what it is. Ah, okay, the sixth house. Sagittarius, the voyager. Enthusiastic, philosophical, independent, generous, ethical, seeking, happy-go-lucky, adventurous, honest, bareback, unbridled, experiential, lucky, boundless, traveling, risk-taking, tactless, and self-righteous. So that adventure energy is going to suit the collective well. Let's see here. Leo, the lover. Express the creative, loving, playful, warm, overt, self-confident, flirtatious, glowing, bedazzling, extrovert, vital, guileless, egotistical, juicy, proud, trusting, and excessive. So, the sun energy, Leo, I say Aries as well, but Leo energy predominantly. I told you guys the sun will be moving into Gemini on Monday, and that energy is going to affect everybody, okay? So, creative expression is going to be affected along with that Gemini energy, okay? So, let's see what else. Divine Holy Spirit, do you have? Okay, we have the numinous, okay? That's mystery, the unknown, unknowable, ESP, psychic abilities, the cosmos, universal truth, oneness, Source, the unnameable, shadow work, inner knowing, tingling, ghosts, other worlds, space, enigmas, the occult, and intuition. Some of y'all might be having some, I'll just say visitations, okay? Or have already had them. Take it how it resonates for you. Okay. All right. What else, Spirit? Let's see this one real quick one time. Okay. That sixth house wanted to come out Taurus. That's that romantic energy. Taurus is ruled by Venus and Circes. I hope I said that right. Taurus the bombshell. Earthly, practical, steadfast, productive, fertile, tactile, ample, worthy, wife, pleasure seeking, sensuous, gloomy, solid, possessive, tenacious, loyal, patient, and deliberate. That energy popped up. What else do we have here for the collective for the week of May 20th to the 26th of 2024? All right. Bam. There we go. Aries and Leo is on the board. Remember I told you guys I see that sun energy as being Leo and Aries. Here is Aries making an appearance. Aries the radical. Active, self-starting, daring, fierce, assertive, fiery. Exhilarating, innocent, on a mission, bossy, driving, sparky, courageous, selfish, macho, impulsive, argumentative, and competitive. Okay, so not only do you have to look out for the positive aspects, we got all the fire signs on the board, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy, okay, but also the negative aspects, okay. So let's see, what is the overall energy? Surrender. Subconscious mind, compassion, dreams. Remember, I was talking about the Pisces energy that's coming back up. Pay attention to your dreams, whether it be your dreams at night and even your daydreams. Karma, forgiveness, baggage. Remember, I said releasing emotional baggage. The 12th house is all about surrendering that. Trans states. Daydreaming is a trans state. 
Beyond seeing healing, spiritual development, guilt, prayer, and Akasha records. Okay. So pay attention to your dreams, your daydreaming, which is a trans state as well. Most people don't see it as that. Uh, focus on prayer, meditation, journaling, chanting, whatever helps you to surrender and release. Okay. Let's see. Twelve house. Okay. So let's get into this right quick. All right. My Holy Spirit, what additional messages do you have for the collective for the week of May 20th to the 26th of 2024? As always, guys, with any tarot reading, take only the messages that apply to you and your specific situation. Leave the rest for someone else. If it doesn't apply, let it fly or give it time to resonate, okay? All right, I will come back and check the energy. After you've experienced it, check the reading, okay, to see how it aligns. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay. Let's see. starting off page of swords so like i said shifting energy energy moving quickly faster than most people expect it okay <laughs> page of swords the king of pentacles the chariot <laughs> can't make this stuff up the emperor that's that aries energy that sun energy page of wands y'all the Eight of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Yo, major, major changes coming. Eight of Wands, uh, messages. For some of y'all, this could be spiritual upgrades. This could be literal messages like phone messages, emails, text messages, something, inquiries, business inquiries. It depends on who I'm talking to, who I'm dealing with right here. Uh, yeah, things are, are moving forward for a lot of y'all. You might have had to take a rest because you were overwhelmed or feeling drained or feeling like you couldn't get everything done in a specific time. But now that rest was for something uh, because you're moving forward. It might seem like things have been going slow, but you're going to get some messages, whether it be spiritual messages or actual messages from people that will help move you forward and that's an eight as well we got eight house as well okay page of swords energy shifting uh something online to help move you forward either financially or spiritually or both on your path um the chariot is a yes moving you forward taking back control with that emperor energy leo and aries energy is showing up big in this reading with leo we got Sagittarius and Aries, all the, all the fire signs in here. Uh, particularly with the sun moving into Gemini, the sun is that Leo and Aries energy. Some Something is shifting. I don't know what, something, whether it be in your romantic life, your business or career endeavors, or even spiritually. For some of us, I believe like it's a collective of both along with this Pisces energy, that eighth house, I think that's Scorpio energy, and as well as the eight of cups represents all of the water signs. Something is being moved out of your way so you can move forward to what it is you truly are supposed to be doing. Like I told you guys in the astrological overview, things are aligning or things are being shed so that you can align to people, places, and things that serve you. And it's happened quick, quicker than you think because you went from a page to the night uh we also have the chariot and it the chariot signifies you guys balancing both positive and negative energies being a true alchemist like the magician i'm surprised the magician didn't show up okay but nevertheless we have the chariot and the emperor here taking control even though you may not know where this cosmic alignment or whatever cosmic assignment you are on is leading you is leading you along a path that will have you 
aligned with source, aligned with their destiny, and everything is moving in the right direction. Okay. Well, all right. Yes, I am. So if you don't feel like you're aligned, you are. Okay. So wrapping up the reading. Let's see here. Message for the collectives. For the week of May 20th to the 26th. Okay, let's see. A message for the collective. Did I cut that? I didn't cut it. Too many. Can't take all of this. Let's see. <laughs> Moon water reset. Now that's Pisces energy. Okay, that's a five. So let's see what it says. Let's see. Okay. Clearing. Remember I said about the shifting. Reset, renew, start from the beginning, reflection. This also aligns with the four swords and tarot. Hmm. Okay. Moon water is made by placing a jar or jug of water where it will capture the moon's rays overnight and be charged by the moon's energy. Crystals or herbs can be added to the water. It can be used in sprays, added to a bath, or used in rituals and spells to infuse your workings with moon energy. The most popular phase for making moon water is the full moon. Y'all, I told y'all we have that full moon in Capricorn, I believe it is. So take advantage of that energy, okay? The most popular phase for making moon water is the full moon because of its clearing and renewing properties. The full moon brings about clarity and illumination, okay? And marks the beginning of the waning phases of the moon during which you are encouraged to reflect and find more rest and nourishment. The glow of moon water has come into your reading to encourage you to take time to reset and perhaps to start again once your soul is refreshed. You are entering a period of pause and repose. Now is not a good time to start anything new. Instead, focus on self-care and conserving your energy. You will be grateful for this time later when you enter a new cycle of action and creativity that may not allow for much downtime. Didn't I say this looks like offers, this looks like messages, this looks like emails, it could be spiritual downloads. Okay. So you're going to be busy pretty soon. Pretty soon depends on your path and what you've been doing. Okay. Remember that every period of action needs a complimentary mentory period of stillness it is in the slowness that need that your needs are revealed and you can find clarity about your next steps the more literal guidance of this card is to do some physical cleansing with the element of your choice smoke fire earth and of course moon water are all excellent ways to clear stagnant energy and renew the spirit okay so A change in your perspective is needed, okay? So, bathing in the river, the message is self-care is amplified. So, bide your time now. If you need to take care of yourself, do it. If you need extra rest, do it. Also, work with the moon and clear any negative energy or prepare, help to prepare yourself for this upcoming change because eight of one signifies change as well. And like an abundance of change offers, options are going to be available to you soon. So take your moment of rest and roll with it, okay? So that's all I have for the collective, for the What I Am Feeling energy message for May 20th to the 26th of 2024. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, join our tribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.